Pudge will be in this game. MSS get Wrath down pretty low. They get the root onto Arteezy. He's going to squiggle away from this. Now Underlord oh, getting bounce. low as well. Nice root onto the Crystal Maiden. Nice Purify comes out from the Omni. Can they actually get this? Pudge going to be going down. They get the trade on the Underlord. Arteezy going down as well. It's just a bloodbath here. Now Crit stuck in the trees, fighting the creeps, but looks like we'll be able to get back under his tower in time. Eternal Envy could be in some trouble. They've got Sumail now pushing up. Eternal Envy knows something's awry, but he's just getting too low, too fast, and can't do anything about it. It's a nice, easy kill there onto the Shadow Fiend. More souls going his way. There's a return. Omni Knight, as well as Pit Lord, trying to chase him down, but it looks like there should be enough uh, escape here. Sumail just trying to go and TP out, and they've got nothing else. It's a full deal. Here comes the hook. Well, that's pretty good. It's all right now, but the cogs not going to do yourself a favor. And okay, we're going to have Pit Lord dismembered oh, up. Universe gets out of that alive. He's going in, dropping the poison Nova. Centaur is slowed. He's trapped in the... Oh, no. The juke spot taken out. And now Pit Lord doing his best, but the hook comes back in. And now it looks like Centaur just hoof stomping for his life here. Pudge doesn't have a, that dismember off cooldown. And Crystal oh, Maiden actually gets low here. Crit is in some serious trouble. The double edge turning things around. And they are going to get her down with that ice path coming in. Jakir lands a kill and now Arteezy's the one in trouble gets hooked back out of the high ground from Zai everyone else juking around the wrong way you've now got NP herded into a tight little circle can they capitalize on this EG looking to make the turnaround hook. as Universe comes back up into the dire jungle gets the hook onto the centaur who's still alive somehow macro pyre dropped along with the ice path easy kill onto the clockwork pretty much guaranteed you can stun the clock as he engages on your ally they're gonna try to take a fight though. They're gonna oh, grab Pudge. Oh, they're going in. This Pudge is locked down. He tries to force staff himself to safety, but it's only gonna be into the jaws of the pit of malice. Ooh, now Pudge dies. actually gets the deny off universe. He's sitting here in the cogs trying to walk his way through. He's gonna get burned down. He's frozen up, and they're gonna switch their attention over there. Universe, not long for this world. They get Crystal Maiden as well. The double edge just tears right through her supple flesh. And now going in to this tier one tower. Cool, and P just came out of the gates running. Yeah, not necessarily the hero that you want to engage on there. AOI wants to get hooked on lives. Oh, he's going to catch Sumail. Oh, there we go, Sumail. Just going to be stuck in the cogs, waits it out. Pit of Malice goes and roots up Sumail. Arteezy dumping out that ultimate. And is there going to be any more follow-up? The hook shot comes in. Universe. Oh, they're tearing apart this Omni Knight. He's able to go and pop off that Guardian Angel. Now Arteezy burning low. He's sitting in the macro pyre. And there's not much he can do. Sumail, he's still looking strong. There is going to be that Thunder going in. They get a little bit more HP onto Envy. Hook off the mark. And it looks like this may be the end of the engage. Crit wants to keep moving forward. Sumail, he's going to be continuing in long range raise doesn't connect but they do pop the aegis onto eternal envy he's coming back can they take care of him a second time well it looks like no tower blade gets the kill onto sumail and now over here zai he goes in he gets the kill on jakiro and is able to rot himself down it's crit versus envy crystal maiden she's squishy she's going into the neutral pit hoping for the best four staffs herself up onto the high ground so and guarantee that they'll have control of that afterwards oh are you gonna go ahead get veiled there's gonna be the hook it does connect he stampedes but he's still stuck in place from the dismember Cogs holding him back even further. He's now got no mana. The pipe is going to run out, so he's taking some serious magic damage. Meanwhile, Sumail just goes to work on the Omni Knight, and they will get him down. So EG get two for nothing. And he's got out everything going on. Universe goes in. That's a deep hook. He may have just kamikaze himself. Goes for the four staff, and now we have got a nice ult coming out of Arteezy. Is that going to be enough damage, though? Oh, Venom. man, the Guardian Angel making sure NP's feeling nice and safe. There's going to be a stampede. They're looking for more. Crystal Maiden. Well, Crit's dancing, but is it going to be enough here? You've got Aoi getting pretty low. NP as well goes in. Nice little Sunder, but he's still taking so much damage. Oh, Crit, goes down. he's actually going to be able to get the kill. Crystal Maiden was not spotted out in the trees. Now Pit Lord, the ambulance is able to get the rest of his team out, leaving Jakiro to fend for himself, but minimizing the loss there coming out from NP. What a bloody disaster. Oh, we're not even done. Owie goes in. The hook not quite going to be in time to save Crystal Maiden. And they didn't get that either. At least they burned the Aegis. Oh, not bad. My oh, God. not again. Zai, please relax. They're going in for the centaur now. They unload the freezing field. Another stampede coming out. Owie, he's getting healed up by the Omni Knight, and Omni is going to go ahead and drop the Shivas, trying to get some sort of damage oh, up. Great ice They've path. got the Macro Pyre, but Sumaili's BKB'd in. He wants to go for more. He's got the Requiem, and all of EG, they're not scared. They're moving in further. Pipe is not going to oh, keep you safe this time. Jakiro, though, manages to get up another ice path. They're turning this around. It's looking good for NP right there. They're going in. And there's going to be a Guardian Angel as they kill off Sumail as well. They've got buyback on the Shadow Fiend. They buy back on Arteezy, but NP, they hold that one like champs. Uh, it's actually a really cool build.
His damage is not incredible, but he's almost really hard to oh, kill. Oh, Centaur moving in. The rest of NP, they want to keep going for this. Arteezy, he's in some trouble, does not have five back here, and he's going to be going down 100 seconds in the grave, and there's nothing he can do about it. Are EG strong enough to hold without their position oh, one and their the, team fighter? I think so, especially with the tower gone. It's pretty much all down to hero skills, and with oh. Terrorblade, look at that. Hook in from Universe, that's a risky move there. He's gonna be able to force death himself out of the Pit of Malice, but these racks, they're just melting down like butter in Owie. He's dealing with all the damage being oh, brought out. Envy gets hooked in, but there's really not a whole lot of damage coming out. And again, they've got the Omni Knight to bail him out if shit gets real. And now they're going in for the tier four. The towers, they are melting, and they get down Sumail as well. No buyback on him. GG, well played, comes out at 50 minutes in as NP take game one, upsetting our panel's predictions. I, th I think NP is playing amazing here. Um, I love all the uh, their heroes. All five of their heroes fit together great. Their five man was clearly incredible. Echo Saber Chaos Knights against the Spectre, really keeping her on her toes. Now oh, they're yeah, gonna start things second. off. They've got the level two as well, Lashrak, trying to get things started, but look at Owie just getting so low. One more hit will mean Zai actually scores the first blood on that one. Amp damage and a lot of physical damage, so it might be better for him to go more of a stat-based build. Ooh, Envy, not holding back here, just really initiating under the tier 2s now. Dragon Form comes out, they get the Dragon Tail stun. Now there is going to be a torrent, not going to connect onto anyone. Nice so crush heroes. connecting onto three heroes. MSS comes in. They are still going to have Eternal Envy walking around the back lines. Ah, this isn't looking so good for our Death Prophet here. They've got the Chaos Fold as well. Her HP, she's still draining she's it up. She's trying to get what she can. Kunkka goes down on the back lines, but the Death Prophet trade with lifesteal, this could lead to him having a massive amount of HP. Oh, scan and gonna reveal that something's going down. Envy, try to pop your ult now, thinking about it. There we go, there's the Exorcist and the Haunt as well. They're going all in. Arteezy able to go ahead and get off his ulti. Torrent not gonna connect on anyone, but now they've got everyone moving in. The Chrono and the boat. There's so much damage being done oh, to NP right now. And they're able to get a decent stun. Spectre starting to rake in the kills. They get down Arteezy and they're looking for more. They get Lashrak and it looks like so much damage being done. Nice little time walk from the void. Keeps himself alive and they're looking to turn this around. 1437 taking a lot of damage at Universe. Left on his own. He has the time walk, but he's going to stay stunned up. Oh god, the ding dings. He's dead. And now Sumail looking to just man up on the rest of NP. Death Prophet's down, but the rest of the team is still up and fighting the turret, holding everyone back. They get the Dragonite. Aoi taking some tower shots here. Stun. And they're about to get MP. There we go. There's going to be a Spectre Haunt coming in. That silence onto the Leshrac is just destroying him. He doesn't get a chance to react to what's going on. The crush after the lift. They keep this DK locked. Even through the armlet, they easily clean him up. And now a boat coming back in. Kanka trying to buy himself some time. They do get the stun onto Envy, but it doesn't stop the Spirit Siphon. There we go. Another kill. Nil for three. One successful smoking. Yeah, he's a... Uh... He's definitely riding that struggle bus. One charge of the magic wand, no charges on the urn, but he can definitely help out here. Spectre gonna be ready to move in. Haunt up in five seconds, and it seems like NP want to defend this. There's gonna be a torrent up onto the Rubik. Now there's gonna be stolen dragon form coming in. We got dragon on dragon action. And there's going to be NP struggling to catch up with EG, but there's going to be a Chrono. They are able to go ahead and lock down the Death Prophet. Easy focus onto her, and she's going to be dropping now on the back line. There's going to be a stolen Chrono coming in. Oh god, just stolen things out. Leshrac getting low, bopped up by MSS, and that's going to be a nice little kill there. Arteezy looking to man up, will find the kill onto the Rubik, and now MSS running for his life. Arteezy's going back in. There's the Reality Rift, and a nice little slap of the sword. They will be doing that, moving uphill. Their smokes are going to be popping. Universe, there he goes. He knows something's up. He's just going to go in. Lands a nice little chrono. Got two heroes in that. On the back line, Sumail just wailing away. There's going to be oh, stuns galore. Left. The boat coming in. Oh, a stolen chrono. Holds him in place, but Rubik just got to back out of that. Universe still just killing everyone. We got two killing sprees on the side of EG. Definitely ready for a fight. Chrono just comes back online right about oh, now. Oh, oh Sumail, too. he goes in. He's going to show off his dragon form. Going to get lifted up. They've got the torrent to follow. And now Universe just goes in. There's no mercy. See, they kill off the Slardar right away. A boat coming in from the Kanka should take care of the rest. EG are playing this so patiently. They know that NP are gearing up for a fight. They know that NP right now, aside from the Spectre, aren't farming. They're sitting in the base, and here we go. There's the push, Dragon Form, as well as the Phantasm coming in. So Arteezy just charging up onto the tower. Uh, he's not really that spooked. There is a stun onto the DK, oh, but look at that format. Chrono just lapping up everyone right there. Death Prophet's ulti's flying, but she's easily cleaned up. This could be GG, as four heroes are dead. 
we're going to a game number three as NP. They did amazing. Whereas EG is basically ready to combo as soon as they get a blink dagger on Legion. Envy up on the high ground wants to find something. Looking for the close. side blade procs. Now crit coming in. He has the leech seed. Can they eat through the refraction? Sumail getting super low healed the up creeps. by the leech seed. And the first flood comes in with the overwhelming odds. Very well played by Sumail right there. Oh, splat back to top lane though. MSS could be in some trouble. Doesn't have a burrow strike. He's got a mango if he needs it. He's going to gobble it up, but still three seconds cooldown. He's going to be trapped inside of an EG sandwich. Short range burrow strike there. The impale does clip, and that's going to be Nyx Assassin getting a kill on the Sand Kings with some bug on bug violence towards the mid lane. We're going to have a nice little sleep here. A Envy really wants to go back oh, in. We've got our first black hole of the game, and Sumail actually turning things around. They're going back in. They get the kill on the TA. Visage TP is in. They want to go in for the slow on Sumail. They are able to get it. It's just a bloodbath here in 1437. Taking a ton of damage the from Nick by the Eidolons, helping out there. Oh god, everyone just getting melted. EG, they lose their mid. It's gonna be pretty hard to cut through now. This is they the got Zai here. He has no black hole. There's gonna be a global silence. Epicenter channeled up. It looks like there is gonna be some decent damage coming out of MSS, and they are able to find the kill on the Enigma Arteezy now. Moving in with the rest of his team. Can they find anything out of this universe? It's gonna be Vendetta up, looking for that impale, and they are able to find it on the Visage. It's a duel win coming out for Sumail as well. May pay with his life, but still worthwhile. The Living oh, Armor, look at what it's doing right now. MSS actually on the back lines now was the aggressor now the aggressee as the blink forward from the legion 1300 gold for another there's the start of the fight though they get the stun off onto enigma global silence comes out though here. he's looking for something he doesn't have a blink he can't really get himself too far into the fight mss thinking about channeling up his ulti he can reinitiate now there is going to be a nice little stomp coming in oh Ooh, what a beautiful force, force forward zai He's looking to turn things around. We'll get stunned once again. There's a roof clock from the bear. Meanwhile, there's going to be a duel coming in. Our little lone druid might be in some trouble. Duel victory goes the way of Sumail. They're looking to focus on SVG. Trying to channel up the stun, but will not be able to get that stomp off. The Visage birds are going to be next on the menu. Oh, God. They're cleaning up everything here. 1437. One shot from death spawns out more birds, but a nice impale from Universe will finish him off. It's an 0 for 3. They didn't even have to commit Black Hole for that. But they got to win that one fight. Easier said than done here. All of NP now confined to their base. Thinking about initiating here on Sumail, but of course the heal, the living armor, the press the attack makes it so difficult. There's a blink forward and a duel coming back in. They are able to get the victory off. Global Silence coming in. Visage doing whatever he can, but it's, this is uh, really good for it's not going so great. Black Hole is going to get oh, canceled by good. Elder Titan Stomp Arteezy. Might this be in some fight. serious trouble. Ends up going down. Now there is going to be a nice little root proc coming back in. Enigma in some trouble. Zy goes down. They're looking for more crit being cleaned up. Oh, NP showing some signs of life. Yeah, I mean, with a lone druid, you kind of want to try your luck at a push up, but they're all going to TP back. There is a nice sleep here on the Legion Commander. Look at that chunk from the uh, Templar Assassin. Sumail still low, still slowed oh, down. They've annoying. got the Visage Birds. Can they get the sleep? Looks like Zyg can be piped up to try to keep himself alive. Sumail now pops into the BKB. Global Silence coming out. They need kills here. That's a really defensive BKB. Oh, oh they there. actually get the kill. Envy brings it out. Crit now going to be next on the menu. They're having the bear charge after him. Nice little burrow strike. They're and that's going to be three heroes dead. Yeah, Elder Titan Sane in the back is, is huge. Oh, they're gonna... I think they saw crit. Oh, they're going in. There is gonna be Sumail. BKB, but just walking around like a chicken with his head cut off. Unsure who to go on here. Looks like they will get to pick onto the Sand King. Now crit going forward. Great nice up. ulti from him. Roots the bear. And now there is gonna be that Coast Scepter. Lone Druid just trying to run away with his life. The bear itself yeah, will get killed off. All the rest of EG are still up, are still fighting. They've got the Black Hole if needed. A duel coming in, and they've got crazy amounts of damage. Legion. That's a buyout. Here comes Epi. Oh, they're thinking about going in. Nice little burrow connecting onto a bunch. He's getting four staffed around here. Just pinging around this Nyx Assassin. Oh, oh gosh. There's going to be damage, damage sprayed out here. Nice little duel coming in. Another Let's victory go going the way of Sumail. Visage Bird stunning him up, but only holding the place temporarily. Easy kill there on the Visage. Now these racks mid lane are under siege. It's going down quickly. Another nice sleep coming out from our Elder Titan, but Dude, again, they're so ahead. can only last for so long. NP, they're fighting two men down. And there's not the a whole bear, lot left in the tank. It's still got 17 seconds on cooldown, man. Moving forward, the Ancient is exposed right now. Little bear, he's munching on creeps. There's going to be a Yules up. Arteezy trying to get the job done. They are able to land the Impale. Global Silence coming out. And now Zai moves forward. He's the got bear, the maybe. Black Hole. Does he cast it off here? They've got to suck everyone out of the fountain. Another duel coming out. Oh, gets interrupted. Oh, 
Yeah, it's going to be a nice so strike good. there. Oh, they actually get the kill on the Enigma. It's looking pretty good for NP. It's their final hold right now. But oh, the triple man impale. Oh, gosh. The root to follow up as well. Legion Commander's low, but still alive. Trying to just get out of here. The bear moving forward, not able to get the kill. Crit now limping away with his life. But he's going to be sucking up all the damage there, allowing Legion to go and heal. Long range burst strike, right, though, got actually finishes the Legion. EG now forced to run away. Dyer playing a dangerous game, crawling around behind they have them, the they radiant. Have them. They, see them. Oh, they know we're there. Here comes they the initiation. They want to go in here. Oh, they oh, missed the impale. And now there's going to be mass damage dropped out. Sumail goes in, really wanted to get the job done. Universe still taking some damage, able to go ahead and burrow. This bear is going to get focused down by Arteezy. Meanwhile, on the back lines, we've got a duel coming in on top of an epicenter. There is still a victory for Sumail, and they're moving bear's forward. Low. They want to get the kill onto the Visage. This is a dieback going down. The buybacks are few and far between on the side of MP. Now, Envy moving forward, trying to get kills onto Arteezy. He's low. The black hole coming out, though. They're going to lose the silencer, but they might be able to return it for our little uh, Templar assassin here. No That's buyback on that girly. And oh, Yule's here to cancel the lone druid's TP. Owie now forced to live with all the damage being thrown out. MSS buying some time with a nice burrow strike. The bear comes in, gets a nice root toss. Got a roar universe, but they oh. should be able to finish it off. And now they're moving forward. MSS tries to TP out immediately cancels. And he's just going to get munched down. Four heroes dead on NP. There's buyback on the Sand King, but the GG is called out. EG take this series. And that will mean they move on in the upper bracket.